All right, folks, if you need help with this code dominance and incomplete dominance worksheet, you came to the right place. And if you don't need help, you can still watch it if you want. All right, let's see. Is this going to be too big? No, nah, it's all right. All right. When shorthorn red cattle, a cow that is red, is bred to a shorthorn white cattle, so a, a, a cow that's white, they produce what's called roan. It's red and white. So you get you get both traits. Like in the past, when we cross like a red and a white, they'd all be red or they'd all be white, but there wouldn't be red and white. So this is a cow that has red and white patches. And what is that called? That's called codominance. Codominance. So anytime you breed one color with another color and you get both colors in the phenotype, and this happens in flowers sometimes as well, where you'll have like a purple flower with a white flower. And you'll get flowers that have specks of white and purple. That would be codominance. All right. So now I'm going to do a Punnett square with this. If two roan, so those are red cows that are red and white. They have patches of red and white. Are crossed, what's the probability of getting yada, yada, yada? All right. So the genotype of a roan cow, it's red and white. It's going to have, well, it's purple. Oh, well. It's going to have an R allele for red and a W allele for white. They're codominant. They're both dominant. And the other one's also going to be roan. Let me switch it to red. I don't, I don't like purple. So this one's also going to be RW. So this is going to be a cow that's red and white. Uh, all right. And it's just a regular Punnett square. This one's going to be RR. You can probably guess what color that cow is going to be. It's going to be all red. This one's going to be roan, RW, red and white. This one's also going to be red and white. And this guy right here is going to be all white. All right. So we need one more W. There we go. All right, so genotypic ratio, just like all. Now it's just like any Punnett square. One out of four, we'll have the genotype RR. Two out of four, or 50%, we'll have RW. And one out of four, we'll have the genotype WW. And now what are these cows going to look like? Well, the RR, one out of four, is going to be it's going to be a red. It's going to be a red cow. Two out of four is going to be red and white. Also called roan. I never say uh, red and white. And then one out of four, the WW of the cows is going to be white. So that's if you cross two cows that are that are red and white, that have roan hair. All right, now this is going to be the kind of the opposite thing. In petunias, which is a flower, if you breed a red flower and you cross it with a white flower, you get pink flowers. So now you're not getting red and white. Now the colors are blending together. If you If you put red paint and white paint and you mix them together, you're going to get pink. And that's not going to be codominance. Codominance, you would get red and white. When you get pink, that's called incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance. Incomplete. Uh, I'm terrible at spelling. Dominance. Dominance. There we go. All right. So whenever they blend together, so say like you have a, you cross a tall plant with a short plant. If you get a medium plant, that would be a medium-sized plant. That would be incomplete dominance because you're you're blending tall and short, and they blend together to get medium. All right, so here we're going to cross a red and a white petunia. All right, so it's going to be pretty easy. The red petunia is going to have the genotype two R's, two big R's, or little, doesn't matter. And the white flower is going to have two W's. Obviously, these are both W's, so I don't need that. These are both R's. I don't need that. So all of them are going to be RW. Point. So it's basically the same as codominance, just the phenotype is going to be different. All right, so the, the genotypic ratio, 100% of them will have the, the genotype of RW. And what are these going to look like? If it was codominant, they'd be red and white. But since it's incomplete dominant, 100% of them are going to be pink. Those are all going to be pink flowers. And this one, whenever it says cross, cross the F1 generation, it's just asking you to cross two of these guys that are in the box. So I'm crossing two pink flowers, an RW. So these are pink flowers, RW, red and white makes pink, with another RW. And it's going to be exactly like the first one we did with the cows. This one's going to be, ah, that's too long. This one's going to be RR, of course. Oh, my mouse is super sensitive. This one's going to be RW. Boop. This one's also going to be RW. And this is WW. Uh, there we go. All right, genotypic ratio, just like the first one. One out of four is going to be big R, big R. Two out of four is going to be red and white allele. 
and one out of four will be WW. Now, genotypic ratio. Since this is incomplete dominance, the RR is still going to be red. One out of four is going to be red flower. Two out of four, the RWs, now they're not going to be red and white. They're going to be pink. And one out of four, the WW is still going to be white. All right, there you go. And now on, and you know what? Just scratch these out. I don't like those questions anyway. They're silly. All right, let's go on to blood types. So you can see right here the four different blood types. Blood type A, B, AB, and O. A has two genotypes. They could be homozygous, big I A, big I A, or they could be heterozygous, big I A, little I. And little I is the allele for type O. Same thing with B. You can be big I B, big I B. You got two type B alleles. Or you can get a, a type B allele in the recessive O, and you'll still be type B. A, B, there's only one genotype, big I, A, big I, B. And O, you got to be little I, little I. All right, so here's the thing. So I actually am blood type O. So here's my genotype. And let's pretend uh, probably about 40% of you guys are also blood type O. It's the most common. You marry somebody with type A, B. All right, so now you're going to do a Punnett square. So type O, here's the genotype right here, little I, little I. But remember, you're only going to give one of the little eyes, and they're both the same, so it only matter. But we separate them, so you can give this little eye or this little eye. And you marry somebody with type AB. Here's the genotype for AB, big I A, big I B. So this one can either give their type A allele to their kids, or their type B allele to their kids. All right, so since these are both little eyes, I don't need them both. I can scratch that one out. All right, this one is going to be big I A and a little I. This one's going to be big I B and a little I. Genotypic ratio, uh, one half or 50%. We'll have the genotype of big I A, little I. And it, it's hard. At my, I can't do the little superscript, but you kind of understand what it is. And the other half is going to be big I A. I don't know, big I, B, little I. All right, phenotypic ratio is just asking, hey, what blood types do these guys have? And big I, A, little I, that's type A. So half of them are going to have type A blood. Blood. And big I, B, little I, since little I is recessive, the other 50% or one half is going to have type B blood. So these parents, type O with type AB, they can't have anybody that's type AB, and they can't have anybody that's type O. All their kids will either be A or B. All right, so now number six. Suppose a newborn baby was accidentally mixed up in the hospital. In an effort to determine the parents of the baby, the blood types of the baby and the two sets of parents were determined. Baby one had type O. So baby one has this genotype, little I, little I. So anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put little I, little I in here. Because one of these parents is going to be able to make that. It's either the Browns or the Smiths. One of them is going to get that genotype. Let's see which one can do it. All right, Mrs. Brown has blood type B. Now, remember, there's two. If she's heterozygous like this one, she has a little I. All right, so I'm going to use that one. She's type B, so she can be big I, B, and a little I. All right, that makes sense. So she gives a little I. We're halfway there. We just need one more little I. Uh, Mr. Brown has A, B. Uh-oh. So here's Mr. Brown. He got big I A, big I B, uh, big I B. Oh, look, he does not have a little I to give. So, no, it is not the Browns. That is not the Browns' kid. Now, let's see if it's the Smith's kid. Drawing. All right, Smith, Mrs. Smith, and Mr. Smith both have blood type B. All right, well, this might work. I don't want green. Let's go red. Boom, boom, boom. So she can have a B allele that she got from one of her parents, and she can get the recessive type O allele. Okay, that's still blood type B because O is recessive. And we can do the same thing with the dad. Big I, B, little I. Hey, there we go. Now the dad can give the little I to the kid, and the mom can give the little I to the kid, and that works. That's it. So... Who did the kid belong to? Who was it? The Smiths. The Smiths. All right. So that's all for that worksheet. So make sure your names are on it and submit it. And I'm going to make another video on today's assignment.